Hello everyone, my name is Alejandro Villanueva and I'm going to present you our research about concrete composites through molecular dynamic simulations. As you know, plastic waste represent an important global problem regarding pollution. We propose to evaluate the opportunity to use it as component in concrete composites, which can be used as construction material. To evaluate this, we include a mixture of typical plastic polymers, including PET, polypropylene, polyestyrene, and SBR rubber. Those were placed between two concrete crystals as shown in figure one. In order to evaluate the global interaction of this mixture, we execute an MBT simulation of 59 seconds length. The Young's modulus was estimated by using pool simulation, applying a force on selected PET monomer in order to push up the concrete crystals at the top. The deformation distance was used to calculate the strain on the concrete. The results, as you can see, the concrete make plastic mixture presented a negative interaction energy, indicating that the com composite is stable. Thank you very much for your attention. Hello, I am Modomita. In this poster, I will present this exciting work here entitled as a stable triplet state in a small polyaromatic hydrocarbons and its design protocol. In the left figure, single triplet gap is plotted for isomeric polyacins, polyazurins, and fused acin azurins, calculated with multi-reference method. It is very interesting to see fused acin azurins have lowest ST gap among these three. Keeping in mind high computational cost of multi-reference methods, we alternatively propose model Heisenberg Hamiltonian, which can capture qualitatively correct range of ST gap. This is also justified with this figure at right side. Our proposed design principle to achieve lower ST gap is maximize spin frustration in similar state, minimize it in triplet state and more symmetric molecule. Thank you. Hi everyone, myself Anirudh. I'm a PhD student in the Department of Physics and Astronomy, York University, Canada. So for the workshop, I will be presenting my work that is energy surface and melting like transition modeling in clusters. So basically clusters are structurally similar to solid, but are made of really less number of units. For example, 100 atoms, maybe 200 atoms, something like that. So the interesting part about all these clusters is that they melt over a range of temperatures. So when they melt over a range of temperature, there is always a stage of solid and liquid coexistence. So my work entirely revolves around uh, finding out that coexistence region. And uh, I've explained the HPC aspect of it. And um, I'm using a parallel sampling Monte Carlo and you can see some intermediate or like you can actually say some good results that I've got. So I have a full bit that half maximum versus temperature. You can see the region where there is an rapid increase in full width that half maxima is the region where the coexistence region is. So I've explained the HPC aspect, a little bit of my methodology and some results. If you have gone through my poster, if you have liked it, feel free to drop poster session and then we can chat about it. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Rishabh Dotto and I work in electronic structure theory. We all know that computing accurate energies are very important, but also challenging, especially if the two body interaction is dominant, also known as strong electron correlation. Traditional quantum chemistry methods based on molecular orbitals, which are one electron building blocks, often fail to describe strong correlation. We are currently re-exploring methods based on two electron building blocks called geminals. We have shown how to expand the exact pairing wave function efficiently in a non-orthogonal basis of ADPs, which are the simplest geminal many body wave function. For a model pairing Hamiltonian, we get really good results using our newly developed methods. For more details, please see the papers mentioned and I will be happy to discuss more. Ocelot database. 
a database for organic semiconductors. While there exists database like materials project, a flow etc. for inorganic materials, a database for molecular crystals is scarce. The organic crystals for electronic and light-oriented technologies, Ocelot, database provides curated data for molecular crystals. Currently, the database contains high-throughput data for 56,000 molecular crystals that are either contributed by the community or obtained from Cambridge Structural Database. Ocelot contains over 2,000 descriptors with optoelectronic properties computed via state-of-art DFT which took over 6 million core hours. Over 500 users have accessed the database since its inception in February 2021. The high-throughput data generation uses the Ocelot API and the Python-based fireworks. The calculations are performed with Gaussian 16, VASP, and Zindo. The data is stored in a MongoDB database. For more details visit oscar.as.uky.edu. Hello everyone. Welcome to my poster presentation. My name is Juan Garcia and I'll be presenting parts of my PhD project which focuses on the development of a software based on the finite element method to solve the Hartree-Fock equations for free and confined atoms. Our implementation uses the heterogeneous computing enabled with SQL to perform the most demanding task in the code. So that's all for now and see you soon.